Hey everybody, welcome to another video of what I eat. Today I want to show you what I eat as a traveling yoga teacher who has weight loss goals in mind. So stick around, be sure to hit the subscribe button, that way you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And if you make it all the way through, be sure to give this video a like. So most of you may know I, mo I recently went back to having a cup of coffee in the morning, a cup of organic light coffee with a little bit of soy milk. And this is a brand that I got recently. It was my first time trying it. And I just do four tablespoons and then two cups of water. And I'll show you what I do later when I mix it all together. This is my ashwagandha supplement that I take from Motive 8. I love the supplements from Motive 8. I do have a 20% off discount code below. They have a ton of different stuff. Go check them out. And you can use my code um, to have 20% off your purchase. This is my B12 that I take every single day that I've been taking for years. I'll link that below as well. And my mushroom supplement. This is also from Motivate that helps with cognitive function, brain health, memory, uh, just it helps with a sharper mind. So my drink, my coffee is, this is just soy milk. I'm going to heat it up in the microwave for just a little bit. Add my coffee to the blender with the soy milk. Add a little bit of pure maple syrup, a dash of black pepper, and a little bit of turmeric, and just blend it together. And then I've got a nice, healthy coffee, and it's very light. It's just the one cup. There's the heaviest thing in this is probably the maple syrup. So I really enjoy getting to have that cup of coffee in the morning as I've you know started doing that again. Once I started doing the potato reset was when I started drinking um my coffee in the morning and so I am I'm off on this day I'm taking a vacation day from work and I'm going to go get to do my other job which is yoga I'm going to be traveling today to teach yoga at a town two hours away it's four different three to four different yoga classes so I'm setting my vibe doing my favorite little yoga and meditation sequence that I do whenever I've got extra time on the weekend or an example, you know, for a time like this, this is in the middle of the week and I'm getting to have this time for me. I have some essential oils, a really a special self-love blend that I will place on the meridian points in my body and I'll sage or I'll use Palo Santo and just put that cleansing smoke all around me to just set the vibe and feel good. And just watching myself here, I just feel good instantly. I love yoga. I love meditation. I love the tools that we have to quiet the mind and to come into you know our best versions of ourselves so after i completed that i was going to go ahead and make up all my food for the day and since i'm going to be traveling two hours there and two hours back i wanted to make sure that i would have tons of non-starchy veggies and of course my sweet potatoes so i am chopping or cutting up the zucchini here i just cut the ends off and then what i've been doing as of late is cutting the zucchini in half and then i cut it one more time down the middle. And so I've got these big, huge, crisp, thick pieces of zucchini. And I get my um, a little bit of water in my large pot. I'm having a dance party here with this huge knife in my hand. Berkeley's not here, so nobody, don't worry, nobody's <laughs> in danger. And um, anyways, and so I'll fill up my pot with a little bit of water just a little tiny bit and then put my steamer basket on top and then turn the stove on all the way and wait for that to boil and then put these big huge zucchini chunks i do the same thing with my yellow squash see here's an example of what i mean and then i'll put them in the basket put the lid on top and we'll steam them for about 10 minutes and so here are the oh my gosh y'all i just recently had shared this with you guys that the these golden potatoes they're golden on the outside and they have like little like indentions in them so they're golden but i found out that they were purple on the inside through somewhere online because i wondered what kind these were and i even asked you on a previous video what types are these you guys so first it was the sweet potato right the sweet potato is just king and then it was the japanese sweet potato and the japanese sweet potato was king and now it's these purple purple on the inside sweet potatoes and there's other purple y'all have seen me eat other sweet potatoes before too the purple ones that are purple on the outside purple on the inside but these right here these right here y'all i i can't get past how good they are it's like i'm eating dessert it's like i am eating some sort of cake they are so good so damn good try you some out asian supermarket um i'm gonna try to look up online and see what kind they are Somebody had said Hannah sweet potatoes. Maybe that's it. I don't know though, but um, I'm in the car now. You saw I had my yoga mat and I've got everything loaded up. And as I'm driving, I'm stopped here getting some gas and eating on my amazing potato. 
And then I am eating on some of my veggies as well. Hey, hi, hi, I am 20, maybe 30 minutes out from where I'm going. I'm going to teach yoga today. I have taken a vacation day from work and I get the honor, the joy, the privilege of going on my vacation day and going to work my other job, my yoga teaching job that's not like a job to me that's like awesome I get to go teach four different yoga classes I'm going to Fredericksburg Texas if you've not heard of it look it up beautiful hill country in Texas known for their wineries and their Fredericksburg peaches and all sorts of stuff so I'll be going there and I'm nearly there I'm teaching a class at three and then another class after that another class after that another class after that I should be home back around 9 p.m. tonight and so I am looking forward to it. It's going to be great. As you saw, I had tons of stuff that I batch cooked, made before, got my big Tupperwares loaded with tons of veggies, tons of green veggies, and tons of sweet potatoes. And yeah, I've been still continuing to eat nothing but potatoes and veggies. I have incorporated a little bit of like maybe one serving of fruit sometime on occasion back into my day. Um, and I love this way of eating. I have yet to get tired of this way of eating. Um, the plan, you know, I was like going to do it for a few days and then push it to two weeks. And then I was like, I'm going to go for the month. And uh, I've been doing great. I'll link my videos to where you can uh, see if you want, if you hadn't checked out my potato reset or my, this is me like potato dieting, it, uh, you know, or there's like something if you call them Mary's mini or potato reset, potato cleanse. There's lots of different names, lots of different rules and variations. Um, but the main job is resetting the taste buds, coming back to whole food, plant-based, no processed, um, and you know me I haven't been incorporating like any homemade sauces really I have been eating as of late my yellow bird blue agave sriracha and you, those of you who have been following me for a while know that that is my sauce it's an oil free sauce so good made with wholesome ingredients and it's actually made in the state that I live in Texas and so um, I have a 20% off code for that and that I can leave you. Try them out. Like, check them out. There's tons of different, they have so many different sauce flavors. If you like hot sauce, there's even stuff that's not, I mean, not that hot, but the flavor is amazing. It tastes great on veggies, potatoes. Like, it's, I've been doing this, eating, using that sauce for over a year now. Um, and it's just the perfect condiment, in my opinion. And I've turned so many people onto it. So, if you want to try it out, just check out the website, you know, but use, use my code, save you 20%, and um, try you some goodness, some good sauce out. I uh, was hoping to be able to maybe stop at a fruit stand, maybe get some of those peaches. My baby, Berkeley, loves the peaches. I'm just going to bring some back for the babysitter and for her. Nothing like some good organic, you know, backyard, back pasture, you know, homegrown fruits and veggies, right? Like, I'm such a fan. Um, I don't think time is going to permit, um, but potentially when I leave, maybe I can stop, show you some footage of the beautiful um, fruits and veggie stands. I'd love to get some zucchini squash since I am running low I just like made all the rest of it that I had I think I'm pretty sure I did um that way I just be fully stocked and ready to go with that um but yeah I'm uh life is good life is beautiful I'm continuing to eat this way let me tell you something in regards to my weight loss progress so the scale it's, it's very hard to tell by a scale it, yes the weight is slowly going down but then like there's some days like okay I'm a woman and like I have noticed over the you know over time that like during ovulation, um, I seem to weigh more, be more bloated. And so like right now my rep, you know, my skin, my weight is probably not an accurate, it's not an accurate representation because, you know, I was 130 something a few days ago and today it's like what back up to 140. So I don't really like to go by the scale. And if you watch Healthy Emmy, she refers to the proper way to weigh yourself. And her advice is to weigh yourself the last three days of the week do it first thing in the morning after you've gone to the bathroom in every way that your body will allow. Okay, so release everything, take off all your clothes, get on the scale, and you take the average of those three days, and the way you find the average is by adding the three of the weights together, dividing it by three, and then that's your weight for the week, and then do that the next week, and then the week after, and the week after, and then we can look at a pattern and, you know, see how it, you know, Look at, look at what it looks like from there and that's a more accurate way, accurate way to weigh yourself so I know I'm not doing and I'm not doing that I'm not weighing myself properly so but it is cool to kind of just get on there and see the difference 
Um, but I went to my chiropractor. I go to the chiropractor once a month. I believe in uh, the. I believe in spinal health and natural medicine, and just um, having you know adjustments done. And so I went to my chiropractor, and it's been exactly one month since he had saw me last. And how long have I been doing this potato reset? Nearly one month. And so I went in, and he goes, "Wow, I can tell you're losing some weight." And I was wearing a dress; nothing was form. It wasn't a form-fitting dress or anything, and he could like tell. So in one month, I have some. And you know, people can tell who don't see us every day more often, right? That's always you can. If you've been away from somebody for a little bit, you can tend to you tend to be able to see their changes physically. And he goes, "Wow." He looks Looks like you're losing uh, you lost some weight and so in that moment it I it was just affirmation not that I needed it because I know I've, I've, I've trimmed down because I can tell my clothes already fit differently um, which is a good and a bad thing right because like man I just got this now I got <laughs> so uh, it's, a, it, it's a good problem to have if your goal is weight loss right and then what it, it's pretty cool but it's what shows you it's that uh, is that physical proof, that tangible proof of something's working, right? So it's nice. I probably got, I don't like to always weigh it, um, measure in like, okay, this is how much more I'm trying to lose. Like I don't go by a set amount because to me, I don't know what 10 more pounds is going to look like. I don't know what, you know, maybe five will, you know, I, I don't know. And so for me, it's like when what I see visually, um, when I'm, ha when I'm, when I start to be, get, you know, happy and satisfied with the loss of the fat stores physically, then I'm, then I, I believe that that's where I should be, you know? Um, and so that's what happens as we continue to eat like this and minimize fat intake and all that stuff. But again, it's not meant to be forever to eat like this. Um, but I'll tell you what, I could, this is, I love eating like this, like Japanese sweet potatoes, the new purple sweet potatoes that I've been eating, the ones with that golden outside y'all, that yellowy color. I don't know exactly what those are called, but it, I cannot believe what I'm eating is like a lot is is causing me to lose weight. Something that tastes that good naturally, nature's candy. That's the true nature's candy. Those Japanese sweet potatoes, those purple sweet potatoes. I don't know if I'll ever be able to go back to the regular sweet potato because those are only good like those are really good certain times of the year, and then other times it's like Ugh. they don't do it for me. And now that I've had these, and I'm so used to and spoiled by these Japanese and purple sweet potatoes. It's hard, you know, but, um, and I'm really hooked on some zucchini and some squash right now. Why? Why is it that I'm leaning more towards that? Well, it's good. It's in season right now, so it tastes really good. But also, I, I, those of you who saw a few episodes ago, the broccoli that I'd been getting, it was having like a grittiness to it. And like, I felt like every time, you know, I'd wash it really good. I'd take a bite and I'd feel like this, like, it felt like I had sand in my teeth. I don't know what that's about. I have no idea. I don't know, but like, so I'm sticking to zucchini and squash, Brussels sprouts, those don't let those don't let me down in any sort of way. Um, so yeah, just filling up on veggies. I mean, life is good. Life is life is good. I'm doing good. I'm feeling confident. Um, and watching the you know the the weight or the the fat disappear. So it's just really cool. Um, thank you for listening to me. I know you're here to watch what I eat, but I'm in the car traveling, and I wanted to just give you an update. If you have not seen those potato reset videos or any of my former videos, um, I'll, I'll link a playlist. That way you can uh, take a look and see, just to see the journey that I'm on. I do follow the starch solution, um, low fat, high carb, love this way of life, um, love this way of eating, and love how I feel, and it's just really cool. So thanks for being here with me. Here I am teaching the precious little angels yoga. This is the older kids. They were my last class and um, it was really, really nice. This is my third time getting to come here to teach yoga to the students of Releve Dance Studio. I got to teach three different ones this time. Some little, some little cuties, some some big kids and then some even bigger kids. So it was really nice. I love being able to uh, give the gift of yoga, to be able to share it, especially with our younger generations, them learning how to regulate their nervous systems and to find calmness. What a gift, right? I'm headed back and I've got the rest of my veggies and my other remaining sweet potatoes. So <clears throat> as you see, I'm chowing down on those and I'm taking it to the house. And when I got home, I ended up, I had already a 
pre-baked uh, Japanese sweet potato and I grabbed my cinnamon and put it on top and was just eating it and had me some water <clears throat> and it was a great day and night I was good to get I was glad to get home to rest if you guys uh, want to support my channel further you can always go to buymeacoffee.com leave a comment share some love I'd love to hear from you be sure to subscribe and hit the like button have a great rest of your week